When temperatures are as cold as they are tonight, you hear Kyle, Kevin, Todd, or myself say you'll need to bundle up before you go out. Tonight, WRTV's Nikki Dementri shows us the reality of what happens if you don't layer up. Frostbite is very nasty, and uh, some of that can cause some severe uh, permanent damage long term. It's also a reality during what experts say is an unusually long stretch of frigid temperatures. Those are our most vulnerable groups, our kids and our seniors. Burgersville Deputy Fire Chief Michael Pruitt asked those that must venture out in these dangerous temperatures to layer up. That means hat, gloves, wool socks, boots, scarves, and a thick jacket. Why is it important to make sure things are dry? So if we go back out into that cold weather, the extreme cold, and it's wet, it's going to freeze. And then your skin tissue is going to freeze. And then we're going to run the risk of not only frostbite, but hypothermia. It seems everyone always tells us during these really cold temperatures to bundle up. Why is it so important? We're going to figure it out to see where heat stays in and also is lost. Right now, you've trapped all your heat inside. You're not giving off a lot. We know you're losing some heat around your eyes and in your legs. So, and I know that because we use the thermal imaging camera. And when I took off a glove. All the heat that you had retained in your hands is now gonna be gone. And now uh, you're gonna start running the risk of uh, frost nip, frost bite. Same went for when I removed one of two jackets I was wearing. I'm seeing more white to where you're not getting as the, the type of thermal protection you were getting with the heavier coat on. Now for Pruitt, the cold temperatures and fighting fires aren't a new combination. He's been doing this for 35 years, but it is potentially an extremely dangerous one. Our gear will freeze. And to show you just how quickly that can happen, I geared up. Oh, great. Yeah. Fantastic. And went back outside again to simulate what it's like for the men and women fighting fires in the cold. And immediately when we're in these low temperatures, our gear starts freezing and it gets really hard to move around. And so the quicker we can get our folks done with their work and into a warmer environment, get them in fresh gear, the safer they're going to be. Just five minutes outside in the shade during 20 degree weather and my gear froze up. The ground underneath my boots did too. Yeah, it's starting to stiffen up. I can see the ice. Yes. Pruitt says it's almost instantaneous when the thermometer hovers around zero. That's why they are constantly changing equipment that can fail during these temperatures and call in backup if needed. In the extreme heat of the summer, we're calling for extra help. In the extreme cold, we're calling for extra help. Takeaways for Hoosiers heading into this long stretch of frigid temperatures. Prepare and check on your neighbors. Limit your time outdoors, but if you do venture outside, bundle up and seek immediate medical attention if you suspect frostbite or hypothermia. Just give us a call. We That's why we are here. You pay tax money for us to come out and, and look and assess medical emergencies. So we want you to do that. We'd rather you do that than have a medical emergency when it's too late. Working for you, Nikki Dementri, WRTV. Carbon monoxide poisoning is also a concern during this time, which is one of the reasons Pruitt is urging Hoosiers to avoid using gas, stove, gas stoves for warmth.